awesome. You guys can have a seat. Well, Nathan is here with us this morning. I don't know how they determine who's the better looking or, you know, who's the smarter one in, their, in between the two boys, but it's the smarter one. Yeah, no, is that how it is? <laughs> Good to know we just clarified a lot, so that's good. Um, we're blessed to have you in here. Yeah. Um, every once in a while, as a pastor, you have this really cool privilege of seeing people grow up in your church and see all the different stages and steps. And for us to see Joel and Nathan, you know, not only grow up here, come through Impact Kids, I'm just thinking of all the Impact Kids teachers and directors that have had an impact on them, and Ignite Youth Leaders and directors that have had an impact on them. And I want you to know, church, I just feel to encourage the church. There's something incredibly beautiful about generational blessing and about the role of the church in this world. And I know the church is, you know, some people don't see the value of it as much anymore. But I want you to know that there, you are here today and he's here today because of the value of the church family impacting his life, his family's life. And so we're blessed. Yeah. So Nathan, you got an hour. <laughs> <laughs> I see he's got 17 pages of notes. I'm kidding. Do you want to share this with the congregation today? Why you want to get baptized? And, and I know you've got some thoughts prepared too as far as what Jesus means to you. Yeah, so basically I've grown up in the church my whole life. And over the years I've developed my relationship with God and grown deeper in Him. And at the Unashamed Conference specifically, I just felt like afraid of like shame to share the gospel. Aww. And during Pastor Phil's message, he said this one quote that really hit me. He said that um, if, we, if we can't stand in a room full of believers, how will we ever stand in a world full of unbelievers? Yeah. And just really, that really hit me personally. <laughs> and I really felt like that just... I don't know, just changed me. Yeah. And during the Ignite session too, I felt God's presence so much. It was so tangible, more than anything I've ever felt before. Yeah. And I asked the Holy Spirit if I could speak in tongues. <laughs> and I did. <laughs> so throughout the week, I was praying about baptism. And that was sort of like on the fence, kind of. And then I, this Friday, after youth, I was praying to God and asking him about it. Then one of my friends named Pierce came up to me. And he said that he felt like God was telling him that there's something I need to do. And I need to do it soon. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I just felt like that was a confirmation. I like Pierce. <laughs> Yeah. That's awesome. Come on. That's awesome. Is there anything else you want to share? That's it. You're good? Okay, awesome. It's <laughs> awesome. I was giving them the mic just to preach, and yeah. it's all good. Well, it is our, our privilege to not only be here with you in this tank, but to have the privilege of seeing you grow in your faith, to see Joel grow in his faith, to see Josephine stand firm and not give up. Your boys are a testimony of your faithfulness, Josephine. Yes. So thank you for that. Thank you. So is it your desire, Nathan, today to live for Jesus and Jesus alone? Yes. And to renounce the works of the enemy in your life? Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's awesome. But as your pastors, as your friends, it is our privilege today to baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son.